Hey everybody, welcome back to the Apke Brothers channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the brand new landlocked feature in the land portal. And what you can do with this feature is literally take out all the landlocked properties in a county when you are trying to pull a list. This is going to save you time and money where you're not targeting leads that do not have road access. Let's get to it. And before I get started, I put a link to a free 14 day trial to the land portal in the description below. Okay, so we're on the land portal and I wanna go through the landlocked properties features, how you can use it, how we are using it in our land business right now, how we're seeing our members use it. So if I go over on the left side to filtered search, what I'm gonna do is hit vacant lots. You don't have to hit vacant lots, but I'm gonna hit vacant lots. That's gonna basically mark all the vacant lots. So that is gonna be one of my filters. The next thing I'm gonna do is let's just go to Georgia and let's go to Macon County, Georgia. And then let's go put our acreage at, let's just go five plus acres. So we're gonna have a minimum of five acres and no maximum. So I'm just gonna hit apply on this and we're gonna see there's a thousand parcels like this. Now what I want to do is first I'm going to show you how to actually look for landlocked properties. It's probably not going to be a lot of people's strategy, but I'm going to actually show you how to pull out landlocked properties. So let's go to landlocked right here. And that is going to be up here. You're going to have landlocked and I'm going to actually do yes. So that means these are going to have no road access. And I'll show you that here in a second. So hit apply and you can see there's 210 out of this thousand properties that are landlocked. They do not have road access. So let's hit list view and let's hit show on map. So now you can see these are all the landlocked properties, five plus acres in Macon County, Georgia. And to test it, I, I like to go through and test things. So when you test it, you go through and you look at the properties and you see, let me exit out of this, and you see that they do or don't have access. This is river, this is just a utility easement. Here's the road over here, this is clearly off the road. These two properties are both on the river and if you go through, you'll see this at scale and you'll see all these properties that do not have road access are being filtered out essentially. So this is all the properties that do not have road access. So let's go back to filtered search. And what you can do here is hit no now. And so here are all the properties that are not landlocked. They have road access. Let's hit apply and we have 814, so you can see all these got mapped out. Since we have show on map shown up, these are all gonna be mapped out. You can hide the markers if you don't wanna see them for whatever reason. Let's hit show on map and let's see what we have. So as I zoom in, contrary to what we saw when the landlocked properties were being shown, now we have no landlocked properties being shown. Here's this property, road access, this might be a railroad right here, but that's not being counted as a road. This is being counted as a road. This is being counted as a road. Same thing here, you have road access there. And you can see as you go through here, you have all these properties with road access. I do wanna go back real fast. Actually, what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna save a list. And I'm gonna create a new list and I'm gonna call it Macon County, Georgia, and we're gonna call it YouTube. road frontage okay and we are going to go back actually to the landlocked properties i'm going to show you something really cool if you do want to get more precise so the things that the landlocked property is doing it's doing all these county roads all these highways everything like that what it is not going to recognize is easements so things that are not roads that are being maintained by the county maintained like that the private easements are roads that are not going to be seen by this and they will be viewed as landlocked so let me show you what you can do with those so i'm going to go back to filtered search here and i'm going to do landlocked and i'm going to do yes and remember we just created that list with all the non-landlocked properties and i'm going to zoom in here actually first let's go to list view and i'm going to uncheck every property what you can do here is decide on the properties that you might wanna to add to your list. So you can manually go through here. I'm gonna go down here and see what's going on. There's four that are all right here and these just don't have access. Like you can see this property has access. There might be a private road that goes up, but I really don't wanna add those to my list. What I am looking for here is situations where there's a bunch of properties like this and there looks to be an easement or something like that. And then you can add those. 
This is a private road coming off of here. This is a great example because this is a private road. All these properties getting added to your list would be a great thing because obviously this has, this has legal access. It is just not a publicly maintained road. So I'm gonna checkbox all of these. And you could obviously go through, do this with the whole county. What I would be looking for is clusters of parcels like this. So you go through and you find clusters of parcels and find out what's going on. These are all don't have road access, possibly this one. I'm gonna add this because you have this easement that looks to be going through here. Not sure exactly where it starts, but we'll go ahead and add that to our list. So now you can see we have a few properties that are marked and you can actually hit save list and we can add to save list. And again, Macon County, Georgia, YouTube, road frontage. We'll add it to that. You can name it whatever you want and hit save. Once you go to save list, you have the ability to export this data straight from here. So now we have a list of 821 parcels, which you can see, and you can export directly from here. So I'm gonna actually hit export and what you would do is hit confirm from there and you'll have this list of properties in Macon County, Georgia. No landlocked properties are going to be in there. So that's the basis of this feature. As you can see with one button clicking, you can remove all the landlocked properties. You can also customize it like I just showed you. Again, I put a link to a free trial to the land portal in the description below. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out, leave us a comment, let us know what you think about this new feature. See you next time.